I wanted to talk about secondary sanctions. Secondary sanctions often come up when we talk about Iran, because this is one of the major ways that the United States tries to put pressure on the Iranian government. What is a secondary sanction? Well, a secondary sanction is an attempt to leverage the U.S. financial system and markets to discourage non-U.S. companies and individuals from engaging in certain activities that are contrary to U.S. foreign policy or national security objectives. Now, there's two things that I need to point out. First of all, whenever we're talking about secondary sanctions, they always apply to specific activities. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this on the next slide, but remember, secondary sanctions don't apply to all activities involving Iran. It's only the ones that are covered in the executive orders and that are listed in those executive orders. Second, there's a difference between primary sanctions and secondary sanctions. A primary sanction is a sanction uh, that creates a rule. And if you break the rule, then you can be uh, punished. You could have a financial penalty. If you're an individual and it's a serious case, you could even be put in jail. Those are primary sanctions. They involve law enforcement. And when you have a primary sanction, you always have jurisdiction. That means that the US government has the authority to bring an enforcement case. Secondary sanctions, however, are completely different. With secondary sanctions, there isn't that traditional legal jurisdiction. Instead, we're talking about things that are happening outside of the United States, not involving US persons or the US financial system. But there's still things that the US government isn't comfortable with, and so they want to try to find ways to discourage people from engaging in that activity. So they use secondary sanctions as a way of getting leverage. So that's the idea behind secondary sanctions. Now, a recent example that you might be familiar with is Costco Dalian. That's one of two subsidiaries of Costco, which is a major Chinese shipping line that were put on the SDN list for engaging in uh, shipments of petroleum from Iran. That was in September 2009. It made lots of headlines, and that's something that you can find on OFAC's website. 